My name is Andrea Mahalik. I've had my business for about four years. I do upholstery, but with a little bit of a twist. I use old world techniques and I try to make vintage and antique chairs very modern for today's world. We took a trip to Kenya last year. We went to Kiltamini Village, four hours from Nairobi. We got to go to a wedding in the village. While we were watching the rituals, I was introduced to the only English-speaking gentleman in the village. I'm Alex Lekalaile. I grew up in several places, but I ended up being a resident of Kiltaman. When Andrea came to the wedding, she got so fascinated about the colors of the beads of the Samburu women. She almost spent the whole day under the shade with the women, and she was very passionate about it. I think what drew me to the colors and the fabrics in Kenya was the excitement and the energy and the feeling that came with those colors. I knew that I wanted to somehow work with these women and create part of their culture on one of my chairs. Andrea, she was a bit worried about how we we're going to communicate. When we were leaving the village, and the last time we were ever going to see him, he said, see you on Facebook. I think that very night, I sent her like a friend request. Well, I couldn't believe that the people in this village have Facebook. Before, the communication way was either to blow a kudu horn, like boop, boop, or you just go, boop, calling someone. But nowadays, people just go like, hello. Here are the goats come back and they will come back. She inboxed me on Facebook the exact measurement. Then I, I downloaded and I showed the tailor. We measured with the ruler everything and we came up with that piece of cloth. Having the special chance to collaborate and make something really unique has been so awesome. I would like my Kenya chairs to tell the story of hope, beauty, and maybe change. She chose the right color. Red, white, black goes perfect. And when I showed the women, they were so impressed and most of them they couldn't believe that's the work of their hands. We come from completely different worlds, but we get to be a part of each other's world every day.